Hey everybody. So, today we're going to be doing a demonstration uh, how-to for the Markart Tool Sterilizer. Uh, I got this as a gift and the instructions it came with are very clearly translated so they're a little convoluted and hard to understand um, and I saw a lot of people were having problems with with how to operate this. Uh, they weren't sure exactly what the protocol was or there's not a lot of uh, not a lot of detail to it. Um, like you can see it just not real clear um, on what you can and can't do or how how to operate it. Uh, so I went ahead and, and I guess retranslated the instructions uh, and and tested it out and so we're just gonna do a quick a quick demo on uh, how this works and how to operate it properly. So it says put the so what it first of all um, it, this opens up and it came with a bag of glass beads. See those? So how it works is this heats up to 250 degrees and then those glass beads sterilize your tools. Um, so only put metal in here, period, nothing else, uh, no liquid whatsoever. Um, so it says put the glass beads in the sterilizer, put the appliances in the glass beads, then turn on the power, the red and green lights. Red means it's on, green means that it's heated to temperature. Um, it usually takes about 12 minutes to heat all the way, and if it cools down, the green light will go off. This will keep constantly uh, pushing itself back to temperature. So, like, if you open it and it cools down, it'll heat itself back up to 250. So it, it pushes itself back to the right temperature. Now, I will say this doesn't clean your tools. So, like, if you have, you know, acrylic or whatever on it, it's not going to clean that off. What it is going to do is sterilize it. So it's going to kill any germs, any bacteria, any bodily fluids, whatever, but it's not going to clean it. So that you need to, you know, soak in acetone or whatever. Um, the lid is not going to close while this is happening. Uh, it just, nothing will fit if that happens. So, um, see it, it doesn't close all the way. However, it, it is very effective, uh, as far as sterilizing your metal tools. So, um, and it, I think it was pretty inexpensive. I think it was like 25 bucks. So, uh, if you're not sure how barbicide works or, you know, not comfortable with just using alcohol or whatever, I, you do need to replace the glass beads every so often. Um, whoops, they're super tiny little, little deals. So, uh, this is almost the temperature. You're supposed to put your tools in before that happens. Um, you only need to leave them in here for about 30 seconds, uh, but you can leave them in as long as you need to. So you just push them down as far as, you, as they'll go into the beads. And what I like to do is put it in while it's heating up, and then once it gets to temperature, leave it in for a few minutes and then take them out. However, real quick, these are going to be, the tools are going to be super hot. Like even the outside of this is hot, so don't, I suggest you don't touch it a lot while it's operating. Um, it is going to be super hot when you pull them out. So you can either tur turn it off and wait for them to cool down or, you know, use a cloth or something to pull them out. Um, you can kind of close it, but eh, it's not going to close all the way. Now, when that get when the light gets to green, um, like it said, the instruction said it just needs about 30 seconds or however long you're comfortable with. Um, what I like to do once it gets to green is flip them over and sterilize the other side. Uh, just... No point in sterilizing half of it, right? I think we're just about the green lights. The green light's starting to come on. It'll slowly get brighter. Um, and the more metal you put in there, the longer it's gonna take to get to temp because that cools the beads down. So, uh, let's go over this real quick again. Um, it comes with the glass, the glass beads to pour in. You put those in, put your tools in, turn it on. You wait for it to turn green. When it's green, it's to temperature. Leave it in for a minute. Now, when you pull stuff out, sometimes the glass beads can stick into the little little holes and stuff. Um, that was hot. Um, <laughs> the glass beads can get caught in the little holes and whatnot, so you want to make sure that you're not flinging those hot glass beads everywhere. Um, so you leave it in for a minute, take it out, let them cool, and your stuff's sterilized. It's actually, it's pretty simple. See, I'm losing some beads over here. But 
it's pretty simple, just the instructions weren't super clear. So, and then once you're done, you turn it off, you close the lid, you set it off to the side. Now, like I said, you don't want to put anything plastic in here. Um, ow, damn it, that's hot. Um, <laughs> you don't want to put anything plastic in here. You don't want to put any liquid, anything wet. So, like, if you soak your tools in acetone first before you put them in here, um, definitely let them dry first. Now, see what I mean about it? It sterilizes but doesn't clean. It's not going to get that crap off. So, that's that's not what this is for. Um, here, let's try a new one. So, yeah, anyway, uh, put them in, let the light turn green, see the lights coming on now, and now it's off again because it just cooled down. Uh, when I put the metal in, it cooled down and the green light went off, but now it's coming back on. The green light's not super bright, so, um, so you put it in, leave it in for 30 seconds to a minute, flip it over, 30 seconds to a minute, take it out, let it cool, and that's it. It's actually super handy, like, it's really small, but... If you're home-based or, you know, self-taught or just practicing, this is perfect and super inexpensive. And I'm a big fan of MarkArt stuff anyway. Their, their products are pretty affordable and usually really good quality. So, you know, I like it. Like I said, I received it as a gift for Christmas uh, from my Secret Santa and I, I really enjoyed it. So it, it's been super helpful because I'm not great about remembering to buy alcohol so or barbicide. So this is really handy to have. Um, I will include the link in the description in case anyone's interested in it. Um, and also a couple of quick instructions just, you know, in written form. So you can, you don't have to go through the video to find them. But uh, we got the big giveaway coming up at 500 subscribers. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comment down below. Um, any suggestions for the next video, I'm always open. And... As always, thanks for watching.